Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I am going over all the details that you need to know for the upcoming Wizarding Weekend starting July 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, lasting until July 27th also at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. This Wizarding Weekend will focus on Legends of Hogwarts. Boosted Traces will be Hedwig, not super exciting, but definitely cute. Young Ginny Weasley, Hagrid and Madame Maxime, young Remus Lupin, and Albus Dumbledore himself. Like previous Wizarding Weekends, there will be a set of tasks to complete and rewards to earn. I'm quickly going to go over these tasks you can also follow along on my screen in the image that is courtesy of Orange Wizard. All right, complete three wizarding challenges with three or more teammates. Earn 800 Legends of Hogwarts Family XP. Use 10 Legends of Hogwarts Rune Stones. Return 20 Hagrid and Maxime Foundables. Return 15 Young Remus Lupin Foundables, return 10 Albus Dumbledore Foundables. And of course, there's the individual rewards that you can get for each of those tasks. And if you complete all of them, let me scroll over on my phone, uh, you can earn three spell books, one silver key, one strong invigoration draft, and 20 spell energy. Now, there's definitely been some concerns in recent events with having to earn so much family XP. However, this is easier to obtain during a Wizarding Weekend than it is during a Brilliant event because the in a Brilliant event the boosted family traces are competing with the boosted Brilliant traces, whereas during the Wizarding Weekend you only have boosted family traces. <laughs> so just Play all weekend. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is asking a lot, you know, for for casual players. Um, but I do believe in y'all's ability to get this done. So in preparation, because you have a week to prepare, brew more of those Donald drafts. Um, assuming the new update is out, maybe. <laughs> not really sure when that's happening. Uh, maybe you want to invest in the departure denial. You definitely want to do everything you can to increase your chances of successfully returning Albus Dumbledore. He is pretty rare during normal times and he will return uh, the most family XP if you get him. The other tip is again to be strategic with your repeat image collection. So. Right now we're all holding on to our shimmering images because we want to earn those new, I think it's ministry manuals. Y'all, I have not yet memorized the difference between field guides and ministry manuals. <laughs> but we do want to earn those new books, right, from placing images in our registry. So once, even if the new update is out, before Wizarding Weekend, you will still want to hold on with the placing of your Legends of Hogwarts images because when you place them, you will get more Family XP and that will help you reach that total 800 Legends of Hogwarts Family XP that you need to complete the tasks. Quick edit from my desk. I forgot to mention one thing and then uh, Lola actually forgot to share one detail. The boosted traces are not just boosted on the map, they will also be boosted when you use a tonic for trace detection. You probably have lots of tonic for trace detection after community day with the uh, shortened brew time. so. Just use lots of those during Wizarding Weekend in order to get the Legends of Hogwarts Foundables. There will also be a free gift and you can buy some bundles. Uh, the free gift is 
ingredients for tonic for trace detection because you know we don't have enough of those and some spell energy the bundles for purchase really aren't that great unless you very much need discounted spell energy also when you return the boosted legends of hogwarts foundables you also have a chance at earning a legends of hogwarts runestone between levels one and three so just grind 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 and stack up on your legends of hogwarts runestones also, I just edited Matt's article and he had a tip that slipped my mind and that is in preparing for Wizarding Weekend, grind out those Fortress Soundables. So do a whole bunch of Wizarding Challenges using your Legends of Hogwarts runestones so that you have those additional uh, foundables that you can place in your registry and maybe even prestige your page. All right, back to the originally filmed video. Short and sweet video today because I'm working on like a million videos and articles for Wizards Unite Hub with this new update, with these new features. I mean, whew, y'all, I am really busy right now. So subscribe to my channel and then also maybe follow me on Twitter if you want to stay updated with everything that's going on on Wizards Unite because there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on right now. If you want all of this information in an article form, my friend Matt Animagus has also written an article for Wizards Unite Hub. The link to that is in the description below. If you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up. And I know hearing content creators say that kind of thing at the end of like every single video is really annoying, but there's actually data that suggests if you remind people to do that, then they're more likely to actually do it. So that, that is why we tell you guys to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe and you can turn on the notification bell if you really want. I don't like notifications myself, so I do not fault you if you choose not to do that. Anyway, as always, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir, witches.